want to say congratulations to Eric Murphy and Jasmine Lawrence. That's Martin Lawrence's uh, daughter, Eddie Murphy's son. You know, these two have been best of friends for a long time. And their children are dating. They grew up together or around each other, been knowing each other for years and end up dating. Um, they've actually been dating for a while. It's finally like they're seriously dating. You know, so this always brings me back to that uh, ghost face verse on Glaciers of Ice. My seeds grow with his seeds, marry his seeds. That's how we keep them Wu-Tang money all up in the family. So those two probably going to get married, have kids together. And they'll be tied, Eddie and Martin. Bloodlines tied. Moving forward. Going down. You know, in history, man. I've seen a lot of couples, you know, relationships, they don't work and all this. They've actually been growing up knowing each other already. So it's like, there's no new surprises that <laughs> that's going to like pop up because they know each other. So this is the next step for them. So I'm proud for them, you know. Uh, Eric is um, Eric is very much a gentleman, you know, provider. He got along. Um, he got along real well with his uh, uncle. Uh, not Charlie. The uh, Vernon, their youngest brother. You know, he was he was around him a lot, so. Yes, that's um, Eddie, Eddie and uh, Charlie's stepfather's son, which is their brother too, Vernon. And right, he became like they pops, you know. So when he does the thing on stage, you know, Eddie don't. Eddie remembers his biological father a, a little, but. He wasn't in their lives long because, you know, he was eventually killed by a uh, another girlfriend. He got caught cheating or something, and she took his life. You know, it was... It was like that. But these two, Eddie and Martin, has did what others... They've always said, you know, our boys, you know, they children, marry your children, they grow up together, and they married, and they, they have their family. You know, they start their whole family and move on, and these two guys who were brothers are also, you know, best friends. And now they actually, you know, in-laws. And that ain't happened yet, but it's, you know about to happen it's bound to happen so i'm happy for them that's all seeing them when they were very little you know they were extremely little at that time um you don't really hear too much about the children because children's you know, unless they're out here in this Hollywood life, they really stay, you know, out the circle, you know, out the news and just try to live, a, you know, the sheltered rich kid's life. Because that's got to be hard, man, when you grew up poor. Because Martin grew up, uh, he grew up poor. He grew up in a house that was middle class. 
and they went to poverty, you know, once the pops and moms split up. You know, they went to the projects, you know, they went from a house to the projects, you know, and as a kid, you know, they had a yard, a dog, and next thing you know, they in the streets, dodging cars, you know, like what's going on here? That's a heck of a transition. And to make it up out of that is something to go into comedy and everything. Uh, Eddie, you know, they grew up um, poor, but, you know, um, not to the point where they were going to be on the streets, but they were poor. And your children, you know, you don't want them to ever have to struggle, but they grew up rich. <laughs> so it's their lives, their realities are a lot different than how other people who are black and went through this stuff might look at these things. They probably don't know how to relate. Quite sure their parents probably keep them centered and grounded a little bit on how it was when they were growing up and to respect certain things that, you know, they'll pretty much neglect because there's other kids that probably went to school with them, you know, that overlook certain things or find certain things trivial or petty. You know, so it is what it is. They didn't lack of, have a lack of understanding or compassion, some of them. You know, and so it was like, man, can you imagine? These rich kids' babies are going to be the new bosses of these companies and everything, and we'll be having to listen to a millennial tell us what to do and all that stuff. So it is what it is. It's, in turn, it's the day of the new world, man. The new world. Now, Martin loved his daughter. Now, he go hang out with her, like, as many times as he can. You know, because he loved her to death. Like, he told Eddie, look, I know that's your boy. But I, I got the girl in this situation. <laughs> so, you know, I'm extra on it. You know, daddy got you. So... He told him to, I love you, Eric, your family. But remember that. This is my daughter. As long as you remember that, <laughs> whenever you think you getting mad or something you don't like, come talk to me. Talk to me first, son. Whenever it's something you want to talk about and you can't talk to her, she ain't listening, come talk to me. That's the realest talk you can get to somebody. I'm quite sure Ed didn't care because he's been like Uncle Martin his entire life. So, like I said, one big family. Now they just really making it efficient. So, y'all tell me what y'all think. I'm out.